know some million that is helping this community, not even the entire, the entire Uh, it's a bad news how I feel about him. I have watched this man since uh, 1986 when I first met him. Uh, we became acquainted. Eventually, we became almost like family. Uh, then, uh, about 2000, I mean, 19, 1999, before 2000. He gave away his sister to me in marriage. And since that time, we got him much closer. Uh, he knows me well, and I know him very well. I am not surprised in anything I'm told there's a bad deal for his community. He loves his community. If you know, he lives in Abba, mostly. And he flies the road. You know how to stand out in the bad road. He comes meetings, little speaking. Uh, he has executed many projects, which I'm witness to. Uh, I was there when the church was dedicated. I was there also when he built um, another uh, part of the church uh, where they really, I think they, the Blessed Sacrament was hosted and dedicated on his birthday, 60th birthday. Uh, so this man has done a lot for his community, more so to the family. Uh, I can talk about the family. Right? The community knows who he is, and we are witnesses to all he has done. I want to encourage him to continue as long as God gives him life and gives him what the success he has. Uh, whatever he does for the community is like uh, giving back. So I encourage him to uh, uh, My prayers are this value forever. My, my wife knows that's what I pray. I don't know what will happen if he doesn't buy his life here. Believe me. I'm scared of that. I need to think of it. So I want him to live forever. That's very important. If the blessing already has that, and he's going to keep having it. There's nothing I know that will stop him from having blessings. Nothing. He said he's going to have more, more, to, more than ever. Uh, I do appreciate the man. So, and I want to thank him for picking me today to be one of the award uh, recipients. He's going to give me a chief test title to add what I have. So I love it. Thank you, sir. I hear them when you go, not go work, go as a man. We work here, we finish here, we finish here, we finish All of them are here. All of them are here. Family is here, but more than any human being and any potential in this life. Everything I have, he gave me. He gave me his sister. So I love him for that. Uh, he's very good. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, welcoming each and every one of us to this phase two of uh, the birthday ceremony of uh, our father, uh, Revered Roy. And so I want you to be very, very grateful to God Almighty for making you a part of this. No one will need one more for all. You want to send your child. Oh, yeah, now I can let you make a man. I thought if you are born, I thought on no chase. Now, I thought if you are so, but I did come mad. Yes, I will learn your cousin. I go see, but no one can walk in the way. Yeah, go. You need to let you make it. I go see, but don't you let go see walk out. I'm watching. I am on the car. 
Bishop Lucius Ugoja Nibelado Kata. Now, what kind of Lucius Ugoja? I want to let you know that you can't make a man to my dinner. And so, I want you to be very, very grateful to God Almighty for making you a part of this. In the name of the Lord, I'm going to go to the town. I'm going to go to the town. I'm going to go to the town. I'm going to go to the Oye na ekele chine ke maka afo iri abo na ato no no cheze na kwa afo iri asa o para de kamado ne sa abulo ni akosi akosi mano monti wo kete mai iya ko iye ni le chine ke di akosi mado di le akosi woka afo mwa chine ke aye moro ndi di ka bishop lucius ugoje ni berado kata na woka afo lucius ugoje a wola ye ni le chine ke le chima de me. Oh, my God. 
I am so so delighted to be part of this event for a lot of reasons. One, the man that is also well celebrating today, part of the fact that he is celebrating his seventh year birthday, and he is going to be born here on the road. He's a man and one of the one of the traditional leaders in this state that have done wonderfully well. Yes. And contributed so much, not just for the development of the autonomous community, not just for the development of Abia State, but also to take Are you guys good? Prime Minister, Prime Minister, sir. Sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. The installation of the Prime Minister, that sorry, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, of the in Sorry, sir. Shake it. Okay. Sorry, guys. I need to stand up. Sorry. We got Chief. Chief. Congratulations. We got This side. Ugo. Bring it down. Sit down. Dance, man. Do it, sir. Still to go. Chief Small. Small. The presentation of the top item. Chief, come back, Small. By the AZ himself. Who is it? Who is it? 
for the confinement of Chief Nigel Chief Don't this way, let's take a shot. Chief Ebeka Sorry. 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 Mary should also proceed. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Thank you. 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 you. Thank 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 Oh, I want to Thank you very much. 
Excellent. The Asa will come out for the empowerment of his people. And then before I start, right? Hey, I got a picture. That was the son of one chief Tessie title of the order. Right about now, bring it up. Uh, please, just you and me. Yesterday, that is cracked inside, but today is the end line. Now, in today we had a different. As you do. Chief Tomba, the Zudo one to me, of this community, is a very unique human being. Our preacher. Okay, I'm not in the side. Thank you, thank you. Because I want to have a man who is safer. But I'm here to soak my conscience in alcohol. No apologies. Please. I say, Tomba is unique. That was what I said. John, John. Abraham here. And Ian will have a very small talk for him. I won't give any advice, I'll give him advice. Mana, I'm going to make you an ad. You the advice. You say, come here, advice. I won't party. Come here, ad. You have the advice, Miss Weir. This man has done a lot of things to this community. Abraham, we own him. The radio and I do not TV and I do my duty. You can hear him about it. So, we him nature. Draw me him or about him. I'll tell you. I will hear him about him because he now he hear this man name. He has elevated a lot of people in this community. He have given, he has a market, but we hug a kingdom value. That is empowerment. I'm on a radio, you know, we empowerment of Yadika. This is what he is doing here. And I want to tell him what. How can we a lot of distractions? Even from people of EHO. They will say, kill him, kill him, because you not not that is what empowerment is all. I wish no one would not talk about cover and he would do like this man. Huh? Okay, now, Homanya. It will be a Rizakios. Do you know what she is? I'm not more. Huh? I'm not going to be a man. So I want you to extol this man because he is doing a lot for this community. Just sit down and lay here on the television. 
Ghana Gata Nishi. And I know that now all the very, very few people who were Diego who will bring it out for the community. And when I do this very ago, even in Wakariya, Manahano Nene, he will eat it. Tukubego. Ofuanya webutego, Neme, hang an arm way. I want to tell him not to listen to those people because they are about distractors. And we must have it here because they have a community. But I want all the people in EHO not to Muzumbu alone. The whole of EHO think of what this man is doing and see what you can deduce from it. What is your relationship with Imamon when you say that very family, then a family that is the economy, that is how it revolves. I came here in the afternoon. Uh, yeah. I came here in the afternoon. Yeah. I I came here in the afternoon. I came here in the the dog who is out on the one also, he will run. Well, 
I want to thank everybody that is here this evening. I don't know why you're here, but I know that one of the partners who was doing some dancing there was here to dance the floor into a pub. He was dancing. And myself, I am here to drink myself and drink, soak my conscience in alcohol. I've always said it. No apologies to anybody. And I'm going to soak my conscience in alcohol this night because I can see the thing roving in front of my seat. I, I would have said I don't want to take much of your time. What I would have done is to sing, I go chop your dollar for you. But I will not sing it because <laughs> no, no, we have a lot of gospel singers here. Sir, will we be your backup, sir? Will we back you up, sir? <laughs> will we back you up, sir? You know, people like Paul Walker Walker was here. Uh, Choma Jesus is here, and some other people who are here to perform. I don't want to embarrass you by singing. I could chop your dollar. <laughs> okay. Paul Walker Chang Pro here. I remember when. Uh, we went somewhere, I'm but also of our life. But that is for another day. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to come to the stage again. But let me go and make myself about 60, 50 percent alcohol before I come with a change too. Thank you. Thank you. Also, if you remember that agreement is agreement. Yeah. That is it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, um, Chief Nkem Owo Also, if you said. Ladies and gentlemen, mounting the stage tonight. All right, please, go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you. And that you forgot to say that Sophia keeps looking younger, younger every day. Sir, so what is the secret? What is that secret itself? Uh -huh. You said no secret, just drink to stupor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much once again. Why in uh, are still in the mood of um, appreciation and introduction? Of course, we cannot introduce everybody, but everybody is You're extremely it, important. But we want to appreciate and recognize the presence of Chief. The back roll and bring the person to the front. That is grace. And today, it will be said in your life, the day we celebrated the king of this town, it will be said in your life, I encounter grace. Something happened in my life. I am here to pray for someone tonight. As many here, under the spell of sickness, grace is coming upon you. As many that is looking for the fruit of the womb, grace is coming upon you. As many you labor without anything, without any result, grace is coming upon you. All the widows here, the grace of God will come upon you. And that grace will turn your life. Young men here, you need the grace of God. The grace of God can pick you from that hidden place. The grace came upon, upon David. Even in the bush, grace located him. Grace came upon Daniel. Even at the lion's den, grace located him. Grace came upon Shedra, Meshach, and Abednego. Yet, the fire could not burn them. Why grace is speaking for them? Grace come upon Joseph. Are you here? You are battling with household enemies. You are battling with people around you. You need grace. You need grace. Grace was upon Joseph. On all his trial, grace brought him to the throne. We are celebrating an icon. Leave it not there. Today, why? He was not where he was some years ago. Celebrating 23 years on the throne is the grace of God. Being 70 today is the grace of God. Having his family, wife and children beside him is the grace of God. Having you seated here today to celebrate him is the grace of God. I announce to somebody today that from tonight you will encounter the grace of God. In your endeavor, you will encounter the grace of God. Amen. In anything you do, you will encounter the grace of God. Amen. I am here to announce, as many that are sick here today, it will be said at this service 
that healing came upon me. Why the grace of God will speak? It will be said to somebody today, that very woman that have lost hope, it will be said to that, that after this ministration, after this celebration, I got up and I'm being celebrated. It will be said to that single sister, somewhere there, sitting in disappointment, still person, sitting in disappointment. Ah, I have been forsaken. Ah, what should I do? It will be said of your life that after tonight, after tonight, that my story is changed. That young man there, frustrated, you have tried all, it's not working. It will be said of your life. Tonight, after the celebration, ah, my life changed. And I'm here to announce that more grace will come upon the convener and the celebrant. He will not, he will not end halfway. He will fulfill his days on earth. Why? That the grace of God will continually, will continually to speak upon him. Listen, the Bible said, the Bible said, that is difference between grace and mercy. Mercy speaks when it feels, ah, I am condemned. But when grace comes, grace will say, though you are condemned, though you are condemned, though you are condemned, I am here to justify you. I declare, anyone here under the cross, under the spell of death, I come to announce to you, Grace is speaking for you tonight. 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 Yeah. I am praying today for someone. You will be the partaker of what God is doing in the life of our Father, of the King of this land. He has been a light because he carries grace. He has been a blessing because grace is speaking. I am here today to announce to you in your generation, in your family, in your community. I am here to announce to you, even God will raise men like him in this community and in your own community. God will raise you as a light. God will raise you as a source of happiness. God will raise you as a succor, as a comfort to many. I announce to you, you will not die premature. I announce to you that sickness cannot kill you. I announce to you rejection is no more your portion. I announce to you where you are is just the beginning of what God is about. God has not even the Bible said our ears have not heard, our eyes have not seen. It has not come to the imagination of man what God has in place for you. I want to announce to you, you may look at your life, how I have succeeded. You look around you, it seems I'm making it. I want to tell you, you have not made it. Where you are, at the point of your success, is just the beginning of where God is taking you to. Just stop. I said to someone, Listen, let me say to you, what you need to do today is to say to God, I tap into your grace. Let the grace flow. I pray for you today. I pray for you today. The grace of God will never cease in your life. Amen. The grace of God will never cease in your family. Amen. Finally, what does the grace do? We have come to celebrate. Some came from far and near. This morning, someone said, a friend of mine sent me a picture of herself having an accident. And I said, what? When did this happen? She said, last year, between law and time, he said, our boss ran into a burning tank of oil and the boss got burnt. He said, I am only the survivor. I said, no. Grace found you. Listen, I should return. It is not you. It is not you. Grace drove that car. Grace will lead you home. 
Even at the point of accident, grace will pick you. Grace will exonerate you. Do you know why? You are special. The Bible said, you are the apple of his eyes. Therefore, child of God, you are here today. It's not by mistake. To celebrate this grace, it's not by mistake. You are celebrating this grace because you like it. What you like, what you see, what you celebrate comes to you. And I announce to you, finally, finally, brethren, that from today, every step you take, grace will speak for you. Everything you do, grace will speak for you. Every decision you make, grace will speak for you. Upon the gospel axis that made this day work, where you are is just a beginning. God will take you higher. God will take you greater. Amen. For friend and when we shall see here, I pronounce to you, as God's servant from today, your life will change. To this community, we prophesy that from today, greater things will begin to happen. That God will cause his grace to shine upon every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, can we all be on our feet? If you know you need this grace, if you know you are sitting here, you need this grace. That is what we call grace. That is abundant grace. That is sufficient grace. That is excess grace. You are here today. And you need that grace. That excess grace. That grace that can flow. Stand on your feet. And just lift your right hand to God. God is here. Father, your word has gone forth. Upon everyone that sincerely believe that where they are is not good enough. And for as many here that expect you to take them higher and better, I ask upon them as their hands be lifted up, may grace locate every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We declare upon you the royal majesty, hey, hey, say, Linus. We declare on upon him, upon his family, more grace, more grace, Amen. grace of longevity, Amen. grace of vitality. Amen. We declare upon him no loss. Amen. We declare upon him long life. Amen. We ask, O oh God of David, O oh God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, be his defender, be his refuge, be his sugar. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And you too.
For my actions and my utterance. Every son here happens to be a close, 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 yes, close yes, friend yes. through Ezudo. Ezudo is a matchmaker. He matches business fellows. He matches husband and wives. He matches business pa partners. And that was what happened in the case of myself and Ezudo. Whenever I meet, uh, should I say it? <laughs> Okay. Stop. I'm going to end fish. <laughs> he supplies it. Thank you very much, ABZ. Go up with me. What shall be over? I'm back with Salam Kim. Can I be with Can I be Let me get to 60% and come back. I can hear your voice, Dabi. Only a woman in the same game. Only a woman in the same game.
for him. Please, uh, I want to call up National President, Foundation of Gospel Artists. It is my duty to do that. Permit me, as I happen to be the Grand Patron of Association of Gospel Artists Nigeria. It's now not, it's no longer a Grand Patron of Association of Gospel Artists Abia State. But today, because of his commitment and the same seed he sowed all over the world, they have been able to pick him national. It's now national patron. Also, you are the man. Put your hands together. That is why national patron from far away is here live on the right. So they have something to tell you, Sir Highness.